Hi guys, Martin88 here and welcome back to another FIFA 21 video. Now today we have got part 2 in our mini series of my FIFA 22 wish list. Okay, we had part 1 the other day and today we are, have got part 2 which is gameplay related. Part 1 was non-gameplay related. If you haven't seen it, go back and watch it. Um, and obviously then come back and watch part two which we're doing now but what are we talking about today so like I said it's gameplay related and this is my wish list and it's in no particular order whatsoever um, but we're just going to go through it and then I want to see what you guys think in the comment sections interaction was great in the last video so I would love similar interaction from this one before we do uh, if you have been enjoying the content please feel free to go and hit that subscribe button um, things are going really well at the moment obviously planning on carrying on uploading all the way up until FIFA 22 and then we'll be hitting it even harder so all right just looking at my notes in front of me if you see me keep glancing I don't want to miss anything right point one which is going to be no surprise to you guys I really don't think so through balls okay I actually at the start of the game was quite happy when I could see and tell that through balls were um, really effective but um, it's just stupid, isn't it? It's not something that I enjoy. I, I want it sorted out for um, FIFA 22 because all I find myself doing subconsciously is winning the ball and just looking through a through ball. And like I know that my FIFA ability and just my football knowledge and ability, for that matter, is way above that. I don't. I don't need, and I, I don't enjoy that. I don't get a sense of satisfaction of beating a, a half decent player or getting a you know a top solo score in the world for squad battles having just spammed a load of through balls. I don't I don't see how anyone can enjoy that. And EA you need to sort it out. Okay. Point number two. Some of you won't agree with this. Disclaimer, disclaimer, but his skills. Like so I'm not a massive skiller at all. There's a few bits and bobs that I do, but my, my game um, has always been um, around just football knowledge and knowing how to play the game of football, um, which served me well for many, many years. And I actually got a top 100 foot chance finishing FIFA 18. That's a few years ago now, but that was with doing hardly any skills at all. But now I feel like it's just over the top and think EA trying to make the game fun for people but I don't see how doing spamming four skill moves in a row is one realistic although I see people's point when they say oh it's but it's not realistic we are playing a football game so you want it to have some resemblance to the game of football and just some of them are so overpowered and it's just <coughs> it's just not realistic for me and it's not enjoyable to play against. If I'm if I'm sat there and I've been carved open by great play, you know, some passing and moving with a really nice finish, I think you can half sit back and just take it. But when you've had some BS skill move and it's bounced off a shin or whatever, uh, and like it just it's just like very very irritating. And I just I think that I think that the skills could just be they could just be used a lot better by EA and what I mean by that is yeah like executing a skill move um, should be enough to create a bit of space in that but being being able to do an elastico and then a roulette or whatever I just I just don't like it I don't think it's good for the game I think it does promote some um, toxicity in the game as well um, so yeah, maybe a controversial point with some of you guys, but I think that they need to just tone it down slightly and not make some of them so overpowered. Right, point number three. You guys are all going to be with me on this one, and it's AI blocks. We're going to be going a little bit AI here. I understand, and I'm sure we all do, that you know there's lesser players that play this game. I mean, I'm not the best player the world's ever seen, but I'm a decent standard. Um, but that doesn't mean that we want the game played for us. And I benefit from AI blocks, but also they hinder me as well, especially um, on squad battles. And 
of just even watching streamers and like on Twitch and whatever and really good players, you see them create a banging chance and then 20 metres out of nowhere, you see Varane's leg stretches ridiculously and gets a toe on it and you're just like, EA, like just do one basically. What are you doing? This is just awful. It doesn't need to be as OP as this. I feel like if you shoot and there's defenders in front of a goal, it's just a, a magnet. It's literally impossible to get the ball past them. So absolutely hate that. Sort it out, EA. If if a player has manoeuvred, manu sorry, his his defender in the way of the ball, then fair play to him. Like great, let's have a block. But if he's just like if he's highlighting a CDM, he's just letting the defence stand there because he just thinks that the AI is going to block it. Where's the skill in that? We just don't want that. We don't want it to be so AI assisted. And that brings me on to point number four, which again, a lot of you are going to be with me, and that is AI pressure, which again is absolute BS. You can create your own pressure. If you're good at right stick switching, and you can anticipate where your opponent's going to be playing the ball, then you can definitely put your own pressure on. And that is skill related as well. Not just flicking a, a button and your whole team turns into Superman for 20 seconds. Again, that that is just so annoying. And yes, we've all benefited from it, but there's not many of us that want to see it stay in the game either. I would like to see that skill based as well. And I would probably suffer from it, but again, I would think, oh, he was a good player. That's something for me to work on. Rather than just sitting there and going, oh, this is just a joke. He's just flicked a switch. I've conceded a goal and now I've lost. If you can sit there and say, yeah, actually, do you know what? That guy was pretty decent. He's obviously grinded hard to learn how to do this and do that. I think you can accept it more and you can still, like, you can take that defeat on the chin. And again, it makes the game less toxic for me as well because those sort of things are what creates people to send um, horrible messages because they're upset and they're not really upset with their opponent, It's up, they're upset with the game and I just don't see how that is good for anybody. Again, hope you watch this EA because I strongly believe that, I really, really do. And that points us into point number five, which is the last point of this little mini-series. And it's probably the biggest one that I would like to see, and I've said this for many, many years. We just want a balanced game. Stop dicking around with it every two minutes. Like, make a version, stick to it, and tweak it. Not have version FIFA 20, throw it in the bin, version FIFA 21, change it 10 times, like, it must drive pro players absolutely insane, because you learn how to do one set of stuff, and then in the next FIFA, it's totally irrelevant, like, I remember, I remember, like, FIFA 18, it took me quite a long time to learn how to do, um, low driven shots and they were massively OP and then from there that they might as well not be in the game and there's other there's other things like that and it just infuriates me because make a balanced game and it, like because it takes can take some people two or three years to really improve at FIFA and they want to work on their game but how can they do that when the game has changed so so much so that is a big big point that I would like to see and that is where I would like to end this video and this little mini series Thanks for your support as ever, guys. Would love to see um, your comments in the comment sections. I will be answering every single one. Love the interaction with you guys. Um, and yeah, so drop a like on the video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next video. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.